almost all documents for private or legal entities used in their work are saved in PDF or JPEG format. In RISCUS, we will transform the PDF file into text. The PDF file is our unstructured data, what we will transform into text using the Python and additional libraries. When into tabular form, and when we visualize the received data on the Kaggle platform. This process can be divided into stages. At the first stage, we will convert PDF files to text using the Apache Tika library. When we split the resulting text into lines. When, with the help of regular expressions, we will sort and select only the data we need. And when, collect this data into an array. And in order to apply these operations to all files which we are in the folder, we will create a function. After that, we will save our data in KCV format and upload this resulting file to the Kaggle platform. As I work in the construction industry, we will work with PDF files of drawings. But in your case, it will not be necessary drawings. It can be some kind of accounts, documents, contracts, or other PDF documents what you use in your work. In the first dataset, we will have six PDF files. Each file is a drawing. From these drawings, we will take data on the engineer's name, the title of the drawing, the creation date, the number of changes, and comments on the changes. So, run visual code. Create a new file and save this file to a big data course folder. You will need to create a new folder in the big data course folder. Or just give a file a different name. So as not to overwrite the finished files. The file name data from PDF is saved with the extension pi. What's the code will be written in Python. To get started, we import the OS and global library. We need these two built-in libraries to work with the file attributes. First, I'll put our file names. To do this in the variable input path, we write the address of our drawings. Prefixing a special character with backslash turns backslash into an ordinary character. When we create a loop for all the files what we will be in our folder drawings. We use here the built-in functions of our imported libraries for this. Input path is our folder path. The second parameter to a function indicates what we take all files with a PDF extension in the folder drawings. When in the loop body we write print input file. With a print function we output the names of all our files in the folder. To convert PDF to text, we need a new library from Apache, the Tika library. Tika is a content detection and analysis framework written in Java. It detects and extracts metadata and text from over a thousand different file types. All of these file types can be passed through a single interface, making Tika useful for search engine indexing, content analysis, translation, and much more. For more information about the Tika library, you can read the article at the link attached to this lesson. Requirements First, we need to install the Tika Python library. This can be done via pip in the command line. To allow the library to launch the Tika REST server, in the background Java 7 or higher also needs to be installed. The function would allow us to Import the file into text is called passer from file and the name of our file. At the beginning of our code, we import the passer function from the Tika library.
And now to install a Tika library, we write pip install Tika in the command line. The library is installed, but errors occur. In the error, there is a link to the file what we need to save to the computer. Download the jar file and save it in any folder. We saved the file and now we need to install the Java environment. In the browser line, write Java runtime environment and download the latest version to your computer and install it. After installing Java, an error occurs again. This is an error in the latest version of Tika. We will delete the already installed library of the latest version with the command uninstall and install version 1.23. Installation of this version is error free. Now our code runs without errors. In the terminal, the code gives us the names of all the files that are in the folder. Now, for example, we output the text from a first PDF file. To do this, we write the brick command at the end of the loop body, which will stop the loop after its first execution. Now we see what the text is received. This is how our PDF file looks like textually. We can now present this text with attribute content. This allows us to understand better where and how the lines are in the file. Now, with the split lines function, we will divide the resulting text into lines and delete the empty lines from them.